coming up on the 31 second point and we have a goal for auto sequence starts and we have auto sequence starts with the sequencer on the orbiter now controlling the final seconds up to launch T minus 15 14 13 12 11 10 9 we have a go for main engine start and we have main engine start four three two one ignition and liftoff liftoff of a 51 I and the commercial deploy and repair mission it has cleared the tower Roger roll discovery Pro program initiator Houston now controlling Roger that. Beginning throttle down now to 65%. Three engines throttling down now to 65%. Altitude three nautical miles. engines in the throttle down condition to manage the uh, maximum aerodynamic pressure as the uh, spacecraft approaches uh, max Q at 743 pounds per square foot. Three engines now running at 104%, uh, giving a go at the throttle up. Minute 20 seconds, velocity 3,200 feet per second, altitude 11 nautical miles, downrange distance 7 nautical miles. Three APUs running normally, three good fuel cells operating. One minute 40 seconds, velocity 4,400 feet per second. Altitude 18 nautical miles, downrange distance 16 nautical miles. Solid rocket booster separation. Separation confirmed. Velocity 5,400 feet per second. Altitude 27 nautical miles. Guidance converging is programmed. Two minutes 25 seconds. Velocity 5,700 feet per second. Altitude 32 nautical miles. Discovery Houston, first stage performance nominal. First stage nominal, very good. Mike. That call up from Capcom Mike Coates uh, to the commander Joe Engel indicates the first stage performance is uh, nominal. Velocity 6,200 feet per second, altitude 38 nautical miles, downrange distance 56 nautical miles, 2 minutes 50 seconds. Three engines still at 104%. Three auxiliary power units functioning normally. Three good fuel cells. Three minutes, 10 seconds. Velocity, 6,800 feet per second. Altitude, 44 nautical miles. Return status and mission control. All positions giving a go to ASN Flight Director Gary Cohen. Three minutes, 30 seconds. Discovery Houston, two engine tail capability. Roger Houston, two engine tail. That call up Discovery capable of reaching a transatlantic abort if that were to become necessary on only two engines. Transatlantic abort site, uh, the primary site uh, operational today is the uh, Marone, Spain landing site. We have three good engines running now, uh, three minutes, 55 seconds. Standing by for negative return. Negative return. Okay, negative return. That call up uh, from Capcom Mike Coates, Discovery no longer capable of returning to the launch site now. Four minutes, 10 seconds, velocity 8,700 feet per second, altitude 55 nautical miles, downrange distance 140 nautical miles. Three engines still at 104%. Four
four minutes, 35 seconds. Velocity, 9,700 feet per second. Altitude, 57 nautical miles. Every Houston, press to ATO. Roger, press to ATO. That call up, Discovery capable of reaching a uh, an abort to orbit on two engines if that were to become necessary. Discovery Houston, press to Miko. Roger, press to Miko. That call up, uh, Discovery capable of reaching uh, press to main engine cutoff, normal main engine cutoff on uh, two engines if that were to become necessary. Velocity 11,000 feet per second. Now three engines still running at 104%. Altitude 60 nautical miles, downrange distance 228 nautical miles. Launch performance so far has been normal. Five minutes, 40 seconds, velocity 12,600 feet per second. Seconds, velocity 14,200 feet per second. Altitude 59.6 nautical miles. Downrange distance 340 nautical miles. APU is running at normal full speed. Uh, three engines at 104%. Officer reports that the uh, uh, guidance is good. Discovery Houston, single engine press to Miko. Roger, uh, Houston, single engine press. Discovery now capable of reaching a normal main engine cutoff uh, to orbit on only a single engine if that were to become necessary. Seven minutes, 10 seconds. Velocity 18,400 feet per second, altitude 58 nautical miles, downrange distance 478 nautical miles, three engines at 104%. Main engine cutoff time predicted uh, at the pre predicted number of 8 minutes 28 seconds. Throttling down to maintain uh, three G's. Eight minutes. Velocity twenty three thousand feet per second. Altitude fifty eight nautical miles. Downrange distance six hundred forty two nautical miles. Three engines now at 104%, or rather 84%, uh, maintaining 3G throttling. Five seconds away from main engine cutoff. Okay, Houston, we got Nico confirmed. Energy looks good. Roger, we copy. Good, Miko. Discovery crew uh, confirms normal main engine cutoff as predicted. Booster officer uh, confirms uh, normal main engines shut down. We copy, SEP. Separation of the external tank now confirmed. Velocity 26,000 feet per second. Discovery Houston, no Ohms 1 required, APU's off on time. Roger that, verify that, sounds good. With that uh, status and mission control on the call to the crew, a, a normal ascent profile confirmed, no Ohms 1 required. Discovery uh, 
be proceeding to its uh, ohms two. That is the uh, final circularization. Uh, the orbit at normal main engine cutoff at the present time uh, predicted to be 190 nautical miles by 34 nautical miles, and that is circularized uh, with the Ohms 2 burn at 190. This is Mission Control, Houston, 12 minutes, 30 seconds. Booster officer reports uh, the main engines now have uh, uh, been configured for their uh, on-orbit uh, uh, normal status, and they are stowed. Houston, the first heater activation is complete. Our sensors are in work. And Houston copies, Joe. Discovery Houston, you can ignore the thermal evap and thermal propellant messages. Okay, thank you, Mike. Seconds into the flight, Discovery on its way to a bit, uh, and Ohm's 2 burn would take place at about 40 minutes into the flight circularizing the orbit at 100 nautical, 90 nautical miles.